What's going on champs and champets? It's Fire Monkey here and welcome back to another Fortnite channel YouTube video. In today's video we have something that I am super excited to talk about even if this is just me overhyping something because we don't have the full information on it and that is a potential collaboration between the Yakuza franchise and Fortnite. And in fact to tell you guys how hyped I am to record this video and talk about this, it is currently 1.39 in the morning and I should probably be asleep right now but I wanted to make sure I had this video prepared so I can get all my thoughts and all my theories out there for you guys. So without further ado, let's hop into everything you need to know. So firstly, on screen right now, you can see a tweet I had posted when the V20.00 update had officially launched, aka the launch of Chapter 3 Season 2. And in this tweet, something interesting to note here is one, this is a item shop background for something codenamed Snowfall. And now we don't have any IDs currently known for the Snowfall codename. However, what we do know is that two of the important designs that were leaked with this update is a dragon design and a skills design. Now the skills design isn't as important because you know it's just a little bit of an addition to the dragon but the main important image here that we need to talk about is the dragon image which is full screen on screen right now. This image was added to the game files in v20.00 and a lot of speculation is going on over what this could be related to however after doing some comparisons and honestly just fangirling a little bit I highly expect this to be a collaboration between Yakuza and Fortnite. And firstly to further my evidence and my belief on this claim, I want to show you this image on screen right now. Now to explain what you're seeing, this is actually one of the Yakuza bundles that you're able to buy, which is an Origins bundle, it includes some of the first Yakuza games, but I've actually rotated it on its side, and I've compared it to the actual image I had just shown you guys of the item shop background. As you can see, the mouth is similarly open in the same pattern, it's got the same nose style, it's got the same eye style, while they are a little bit more simplified in the Fortnite version, it has all the same aesthetics and all the same like generalization of how the character or how the dragon in that image is all there just sitting in the same conveniently placed locations and to further my belief another bit of proof i want to provide to you guys on why this might be a collaboration with yakuza is kiru's tattoo and now you can see kiru's ta tattoo on screen right now and something interesting to note about this is once again it matches the similar aesthetic it matches the similar design however there is one distinct difference between that tattoo and the tat and the actual item shop background and that is in the tattoo it is actually having a bonji orb in the dragon's uh, like hand so in this actual item shop version, we don't really have anything in the hand, which is why even though it's similar, I don't think it relates to Kiru's tattoo in particular, however it just relates to the origin bundle. But if it relates to the origin bundle, that means it relates to the characters from the original few games, such as Kiru and maybe even Majima, and who knows what else Epic Games could bring to the game. But now, why am I telling you this? What is really important to mention here regarding this whole entire collaboration and all the convenient stuff in the files? Well, personally, one thing I wanted to mention here is if you guys don't know anything about me I am a major fan of the Yakuza franchise I mean I've made a review on my commentary channel which you know what I'll put in the little like outro pop-up thing at the very end of the video where I made a review on Yakuza 0 as I was still playing it and I've spent uh, hours upon hours in these games so this is one of the first few collaborations in Fortnite that I've been insanely hyped to see potentially come to fruition in the very near future and on top of me just fangirling something else I want to mention about RGG Studios which are the people who made Yakuza franchise and the people who are working on a newer franchise called Lost Judgment is that recently in a data mine for Rainbow Six Siege and of course I'm not going to show the images on screen because apparently they might get me DMCA'd and I'd rather just you know give it word of mouth this way so I don't get DMCA'd there have been new files added to Rainbow Six Siege regarding Kiru being in Rainbow regarding Kiru having some Yakuza themed weapon skins in that game so if RGG Studios is going going to collaborate with um, Rainbow Six Siege and it appears that we're going to be getting collaboration with Epic Games it just makes sense for this item shop background to be for this and now if this was to be a collaboration then what is actually a reason for them to do this what would be something that they could even promote because as you guys may or may not know a lot of Epic Games collaboration
missions happen around the time when there's something new happening with that character so that they can come like promote that character or promote that product to their social media pages with the collaboration and it appears that with lost judgment one of the other games a part of you know the yakuza franchise there is going to be a brand new dlc that releases on march 28th called the kaito files and now this is an expansion for lost judgment however with this releasing on the 28th which is in around six days it makes sense for rgg studios to start doing these collaborations with collaborations with other companies and you know sorry for stumbling over my words it's one in the morning what can i say but it just makes sense and personally i'm super excited to see what happens now could it be something completely different sure we've already had theories that it could be imagine dragons that it could be dragon ball however the shinron dragon and dragon ball is slightly different in the art style aspects so i wouldn't believe that and then there's also been the theory of mortal kombat based on the mortal kombat logo but personally i feel that the closest thing that this could possibly be on the dot is the yakuza franchise so i am super praying right now because i am a major fan of yakuza and i hope some of you guys who are watching this video right now are kind of understanding what's going on and what an upcoming collaboration might be but with that said, my name's Fire Monkey. I have some very interesting news I'll be sharing in the upcoming videos I might even double upload today, who really knows? So I'll see you champs and champettes later with another video. Peace out.